Hello again. Okay, today's lesson or training is going to be on solar ovens. Remember last year we could go out anytime we wanted, have a barbecue, invite the entire neighborhood and world if we wanted to. Everything you wanted to cook, beef, chicken, fish, baked potatoes, anything was possible and it made the most wonderful fragrances in the air. You could tell three blocks away when a neighbor is cooking outside. There's nothing like that fragrance. And it gives you a homey, wonderful, warm feeling inside. But then, last year, people in Wuhan started dying. And then people all over the world started dying. And people started rioting. And the cops were called in. And people were getting separated and, and hating each other. And everybody had to wear masks and then didn't and then did. Kids were kept home from school. Thousands lost their jobs. Fires broke out in California so bad you could smell them clear all the way to Utah. It's horrible. The smoke was bad. Then we have the impending knowledge of G5 is coming at us and altering our DNAs and messing up our lives even more. What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? We don't have much choice about our lives anymore. We're all alone. We're standing here and we don't know what to do. We think we're just one person and have no control. Well, you have control of your own home your own household and that's what's important you need to know that you've got each other still children need to rely on their parents you need to be the strong example and you can make that strong front for them and you can find new ways and fun ways to cook your dinner like in this panel solar oven it is so easy to do you know Many of us love one-dish dinners, so you can throw in your hamburger and all the mix, the mixings and the spices and either rice or macaroni or potatoes or mixed vegetables, whatever you want. And this is what we threw in ours, and I'll give you the recipe for that down below. But, you know, there's nothing like a nice home-cooked meal to make everybody feel good. And in a hot summer day, instead of using the whole three pounds, throw in only a pound and a half. And you'll be able to cook outside with all, without all that heat going all over your house. It'll go in the solar oven. And you'll be able to cook it out there in just two or three, maybe four hours, depending on how high the sun is and how hot the day is. And a one dish stew is wonderful you let it cool down a little bit you toss some different crackers on the table several different kinds make it fun and you'll enjoy a dinner that you've hardly even had to mess with as you can see we ate over half of ours and part of it the leftovers part we cooked on the stove now and then we cook it on the stove and now and then we use a solar oven and the other half we froze. This was Bird Dog's bowl. He finished almost all of his. In fact that was three servings but we're not telling anybody. And then we had Sir Tom over and he's drinking his root beer and he had two and a half bowls honestly this stuff was really good and I had a baby bowl and I couldn't even finish I only had a half a serving and couldn't finish the whole thing because it was so good and so filling and so the secret is yes the secret is the recipe the recipe for this dish and you really want to have it because when this stuff hits the fan and that smell of barbecue goes all over the place all your neighbors will be tracking you down and that's not safe 
You do not want to be faced with some people's toys just so that they can have your dinner. You do not want to feel unhinged or threatened in any way just because you want to fix dinner for your family. In this, in this type of solar oven, the panel solar oven, you can have a wonderful dinner and nobody even knows you're cooking it. It can be outside for hours. As long as you don't take that lid off, nobody can smell a thing, so you carry it in the house. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. Angels all around. Bye now.